Hey, Vincent, get over here, man. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Leo, there's a camp down there. Yeah, but it looks empty. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's check it out. Maybe there's something to eat there. All right. You ever go camping, Vincent? A few times, when I was a kid. You old man? Nah, my uncle, actually. And you liked it? Yeah. Who wants to sleep outside on the cold, hard ground when you got a perfectly good bed at home? Each sleeping in a 9 by 5 room with bars, though. Well, you got that right. But seriously, though, why risk it? Risk what? Wild animals, bugs, no civilization, no toilet paper. Fresh air, no one bugging you, cooking over a fire. It ain't all bad. Maybe not. But still, no toilets? Well, that's the charm with it. Almost there. I'm gonna need some more wood for the fire. I'm gonna need some more wood for the fire. I'm gonna need some more wood for the fire. I'm gonna need some more wood for the fire. I'm gonna need some more wood for the fire. I'm gonna need some more wood for the fire. I'm gonna need some more wood for the fire. I'm gonna need some more wood for the fire. Hmm, should be able to make a spear with this knife. Just a little more. baby I should be able to find some wood over there That tasted like shit, man. Well, you know, it is what it is. Yeah? <laughs> and my fucking feet hurt. What about yours? Nah, I'm good. So you're a tough guy, huh? Well, it's not like we have much of a choice here. Yeah. By the way, what are you in for? Something I didn't do. So you're innocent, huh? Well, aren't we all? I'm innocent too, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. What about family? You got any? 
Yeah. A wife. I hope. You? Me too. And a kid. Alex. Fucking miss him, man. Yeah, I hear you. That piece of shit Harvey's gonna get what he deserves, let me tell you that. So, let's go after him. Together. Look, Vincent. I need to know what your story with Harvey is. Okay? <sighs> All right. I was a regular guy with a boring bank job. One day my brother brings in a new client, Harvey. Let me guess. Money laundering. Yeah. Money was easy, but Harvey just kept coming in with more and more cash, and I couldn't handle it. It was too risky, so I told him I wanted out. He killed my brother as a warning. After that, I lost it. I planned on killing him, but the son of a bitch pinned it all on me. I was convicted for the murder of my own brother. Wow. That's fucking rough, man. Yeah. Sorry. So, uh, what's your story with Harvey? You fucked me over, that's for sure. I mean, we were gonna... Wait, you hear that? Ah, oh, shit. Closing in. We gotta move. Ah, my fucking feet. Just suck it up. Don't worry about it. I got it, okay? So, you used to work in a bank, huh? Figures. What are you implying? Well, how should I put it? You're kind of uptight. I'd rather be uptight than a loose cannon. Thanks for the compliment. You're welcome. You know what? What? You're actually the first guy who worked in a bank that I've talked to without a gun in my hand. Would you look at that? You're making progress, Leo. There's a house over there. Let's check it out. Give me a hand, Leo. are still at large and considered highly dangerous. The state police put out a warning today, urging every law-abiding citizen within a 50-mile radius of the prison... Don't you worry, honey. Those two fools come around here. Windows, they'll get a taste of old Betsy. Be safe. Hey, I say we take them out. Are you crazy? It's an old couple. We can't do that. I don't mean it like that, man. I mean, we tied them up with something. We really need to change clothes. We can't walk around like this. I don't like it. It's better to get him out of the house. What do you have in mind? See that barn over there? Yeah. We release the horses. Release the horses? How's that gonna help? Trust me. 
I'll be forced to go get them back. I don't know, man. Sure, whatever, man. Let's try it. Okay, come on. <laughs> Crap. It's locked. Oh, yeah. How do you know they got horses in there? It's a horse barn, Leo. What else should they have? But still, you sound so sure. I mean, it could also be empty. You hear that? Yeah, I do. That was easy. Now where are the horses? There are the horses. I'm not sure about this, but let's release them. Hey, Leo, this might make enough noise to scare them. We should probably release the horses first. Benson. Let's open the stalls. One down, two to go. Yep. Let's free them all. Seems like this lamp is broken. Let's see if I can get it working. I wonder if I can scare a horse with this. Maybe it's too much. Help me push this thing. Escaping, honey. Oh dear, didn't we lock the barn? Of course I did. Come on, let's go. See, I told you. Yeah, let's just hope these horses keep running. They will. We put some of this wood in there. This should be enough.
I've never really been a hat man. Hey, Leo, there's a wardrobe here. Let's change. Yeah, this will do. And the shotgun might come in handy. Some help, please? My God, it's a piece of junk. It's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Hey, it's even missing wheel. Nah, I'm sure there's a spare around here somewhere. I don't know, man. It's not like we have a choice. Sherby's running on foot. Let's fix it up and we'll be out of here in no time. <sighs> All right, fine. This could probably lift a car. Ready, Leo? Let's find something to lift the car. <laughs> hey, Vincent. I see a tire over there. Let's find a way to get up there. Now it's attached. We just need to find a lug wrench to fasten. All right, tire. It. Here I come to school you. We should attach the wheel before we remove this. All right, let's lift this thing and remove the support. Did you let it go? No, I didn't. Eh, let's go get it. Ugh.
These jumper cables might refresh the battery. Just gotta open the hood. Seems like it's out of gas. Hey, Leo, try starting the car now. A gas canister. How handy. All right, the tank is full. What's next? Whoa! Oh, shit! This piece of junk. It actually worked. Yeah, I told you so. Sometimes, you just gotta have a little faith. Faith, huh? Well, I was doubting. Next time, just trust me, okay? Yeah, right. Yes? No, I don't know. It was a while ago. We need your help now, officer. Okay, hurry up, please. Absolutely. Thank you. Are the police on their way yet? Yes, they'll be here any minute. Okay, I'll go take care of them. No, just stay here. It's all right, just wait here. I'll be fine. Filthy scum! Oh shit, take cover! You're gonna pay for this! Come on, let's go! Yeah. You got it! Come on! Come on! Yeah! Come on! Go, 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 go! Damn it! Hey, basic! We got cops coming! Step on it! Uh, can't this piece of shit go any faster? Just sit down, Leo! You're gonna fall off! All right! Here we go! Here they come! Hold on back there! Just focus on driving, man! I'll keep them off our backs!
Where the hell does this river take us? I have no idea, but the further away, the better. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, start rowing. We need to get going. Hey, Vincent. Yeah? I think I saw something in the water. It's probably a shark, Leo. What do you mean? There are no sharks in this water. How do you know? It's sweet water. You're a clever guy, Leo. But I really saw something, though. Probably a fish. Yeah, whatever. That fish. Probably salmon. You know what? It could have been a crocodile. Seriously? I don't like crocodiles. Well, watch out, then. Hey, Vincent. Yeah? You think there are any bears in these woods? There are probably bears in these waters, Leo. Ha! Like I'd believe that. Looks like our peaceful boat ride is over. Some rough streams ahead. Out, some rough streams up ahead. Shut right. Hey, right, right, right. Wouldn't it be fast if I just jumped in and swam? Yeah, sure. You try that. I'll just stay in the boat. I think we're through the worst of it. The rest is just a smooth ride. 
I think you spoke too soon, Leo. Look straight ahead. Holy shit! Ah! Whoa! See that? Right, right! Paddle, paddle, damn it. Waterfall, waterfall! Not done yet. Watch out for the rock. Watch out. Okay? I'm okay. Let's get out of here. All right. What of you, huh? Yeah. So? What happens now? Look, I know what you're thinking, but going after Harvey won't be easy. I know, but I'm going after him, with or without you. You want to end up dead? I want him gone. He's a cold-blooded killer. The world's going to be a better place without him. You never told me, Leo. What is your story with Harvey? Before I got busted, me and Harvey made a huge score. Bank job? No. You ever heard of a Black Orlov? Are you serious? The diamond? How the hell did you pull that off? A lot of planning and a bit of luck. So what happened? Everything was going our way. We even had a buyer. But that greedy fuck had other plans. It's all there. Count it. Looks about right. Mm. Of course it is. You can always trust me. I'm not trusting nobody, my friend. Thank you. 
Here you go. What do you think? It's heavier than I thought. It is. Pleasure doing business with you guys. You too. Give me the case! What the fuck are you doing? Give me the fucking case, Leo! Hand it over, now! It's nothing personal. It's just business. Give me the briefcase. Next thing I know, I'm surrounded by cops. That's rough. I'm sorry. Oh, trust me. He's the one who's gonna be sorry. I'm making things right for me and for my family. Hmm. So do you know where Harvey is right now? I know one of his guys, Ray. He'll know for sure. So? What are we waiting for? Let's go after him. You really want to take Harvey down, huh? Like I said, with or without you, I'm going after him. Okay. All right. Where can we find this Ray guy? Don't worry, he's gonna be easy to find. But I need to make sure my family's safe first. Of course. Let's go. Don't go too far, Alex. Mom? Mom! What is it, honey? What's wrong? Alex? Alex! Leo, can I ask you something personal? Yeah, sure. How do you and your wife manage to stay together in this line of work? We've always been together. You know, she knows me better than I know myself. I was 12 when we met at the orphanage. Orphanage? You could say that my parents didn't do their job. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. I barely remember them. Besides, I was fortunate enough to have Linda. <laughs> she was crazy. You know, we used to run away together, steal ice cream and cigarettes. Shit. It's always been us against the world. Still is. No matter what. That's just how it is. Sounds great. Keep an eye out for my family. It's a woman and a boy, about this size. You don't know where they live? They had to move while I was inside. I see. Let's just have a look around. I'm sure we'll find them. Yeah. 
Life looks rough out of here. You got that right.